<laughs> hey everybody, I'm Chris Provost, and guess where I am? I'm in Toontown, and you're watching Provost Park Pass, and today I'm gonna take you into a store here at Toontown and show you all the secrets revealed of this amazing store. You're gonna see stuff you won't see anywhere else. Let's do this. Now, of course, a lot of people have talked about Mickey's Runaway Railway, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway, and it's an amazing attraction. But when it ends, it drops you off into what's called Engine Ear Souvenirs. And this store has so much craziness in it and secrets and history that most people just walk right through and don't even realize how cool the store is. Now here's the sign as you enter into the store, Engineer Souvenirs. And if you look right there in the window, when you see a little hidden Mickey at the beginning, driving the tune liner. Now this is interesting because this is the entrance to the store, but most people are leaving because this is also the exit for the Mini Mickey's Toontown Runaway Railway. And you'll notice where it says Imagineer, there's little ears on the R. All right, let's go in. We're gonna go in the store and there is so much to see. Here's the engineer store. And there is tons and tons of stuff to see. But the most important thing we need to talk about is called Doodlebug. See it says right there, it says Doodlebug. Let's see if I can find one, oh right here. Doodlebug model trains. This is a very important term to Imagineers, Doodlebug. When you're ever on an attraction and you can't see who's driving the attraction, you know who it is, the Disney Imagineers, they call that, they say it's being driven by Doodlebug. That's like their inside code for like, when you can't see who the driver is. Like if you're on a train, you could see who's driving it. They're like, oh, Doodlebug is driving it. So they kind of made a play on that. And then here in the store, they're pretending to sell Doodlebug trains. They're not really selling Doodlebug trains, but they have all these great train parts here saying Doodlebug on it. You're gonna see lots of boxes for Doodlebug trains. What you're gonna see is a sorted uh, Wonka Lee buildings packed by, and these are the different Imagineers who have worked on it. David, Michelle down there. You've got Ali right here, Tom over there, Chris right there, uh, Lauren. You got John, Ali. These are all the different Imagineers. There's a Ashley, I guess, right there, who worked on the Mini Mickey's Runaway Railway. I think it's so cool that they gotta put their names on it. Pam, Pam up there. They actually put some funny names here. Oh, wait, Blaine. What is that, Mandy, I guess, right over there. So I'm gonna show you some other fun ones here. But yeah, so Doodlebug, and there's Doodlebug right there. Just Anytime you can't see the driver, it's Doodlebug. This store, of course, is a gift shop. It dumps you out right at the right, come out here. But there's so many cool things and lots of cool history here. Um, most people just walk right past it. So I'm trying to show you much of that as I can. And here's some more names. I have to show this one. It's one of my favorite right up here. Right there. Ermagerd. <laughs> it's uh, Ryan has did that. You see all the different Mike, Colin. These are all, and this one here is Walt. Of course, Walt. I just, I just love it. It's like Sorted Silly Trees by Tony. And then we got Telephone Power and Poles by Jeff. And then we got Clown Car, Mark. <laughs> Extremely Relaxing Lounge Car, Marty. Flat but Funny Scenery, Edna. I love this. I mean, like, they're just great. <laughs> I love how they've done that. Yeah, Doodlebug Trains. So what it is, here in the store, they're pretending to sell Doodlebug Trains and be the only supplier of Doodlebug Trains. And you're going to see a lot of testimonials from Disney characters saying, oh, I love Doodlebug trains. So that's one of the things you'll see here. As you can see right here, exclusive supplier of Doodlebug model trains right there. And then I love this, rules for playing with model trains. Always call out choo-choo when miming pulling, train, when miming pulling a train whistle. Never crash trains, except on purpose or to get a laugh. Always line the floor to get a better view of oncoming model trains. Never leave tiny model train parts on the floor for a barefoot dad to step on. Remember this, always call out choo-choo. Which reminds me, what's the difference between a teacher and a train? Well, a teacher says, hey, spit out your gum, and a train says, choo-choo. <laughs> we're gonna get a little testimonial over here by Horace. And Horace doesn't get a lot of love in Disney, so I love that they have him here. For his iron horse hobby, Horace demands max horsepower. <laughs> That's a terrible name. But see, he's a horse. Doodleberg model trains. Sure, I can play with other train bands, 
But when it comes to chug, chug, chugging along around my home track, this filler needs maximum iron horsepower. That can only come from a Doodleberg locomotive. Sure, they're expensive, break down often, and are kind of funny looking, but boy oh boy, do I ever love my doodles. Buy yours today at Mickey at Engineer Souvenirs of Toontown, the exclusive supplier of Doodle Bug model trains. Horus. And it's just not Horus that likes trains. A lot of Disney characters. Let's see who else likes the Doodle Bug trains. <laughs> this poster cracks me up. Okay, there's Goofy, right? Look like at his little hand here. And then. <laughs> yeah, how long is his arm? I love that. Complete, total, grand, supreme, super ultimate train set. Lots of exhausting assembly required. Doodle bug, doodle bug model trains. Everything you need in one very large box. You'll be wasting time in no time. I love that little hand up there. <laughs> but wait, there's more. All right, now we got cute, we got Clarabelle up here. Cute cows like Clarabelle claim our quality cow catchers are quite a catch. Doodle bug model trains. Oh yes, I love to play with model trains. And my most favorite right brand of all time has been doodle bugs. And why, you ask? Well, it's mainly because doodle bug locomotives have the best cow catchers. My favorite right thing is to plunk, I can't read that. My favorite thing is to, what does that say? Plunker heard a tiny bunch of cows right on the track, slow that little boy down, and let the doodlebug cow catch it to its thing. Why it just ever so gently moves them bovines right on the track. It's so satisfying. You're crazy, Clarabelle. All right, so look at this part of the train right here. That red part right there. Let's see. See that red part? Right there. That little red part is called a cow catcher. That way if there was ever a cow on the train, it just pushes the cow off. And Clarabelle likes doing that. Odd. Okay, so now there's some really cool history and cool things that are hidden along the top shelf right here. See like this top shelf here? All the way around the store, this top shelf has lots of hidden things there. And I'm gonna review and show you all those different hidden things on the top shelf. Let's go do it. Yeah. Okay, so these top, these top shelves up here, they do display some merchandise, but a lot of it is just gags or funny little things, spoofs. So you wanna kinda of look up to see them. And I'll, I'm, gonna go through, I'm gonna go all the way around the room and show you everything that's on the top shelf. And this is the exit to the uh, attraction. See, everybody's coming out. But the first thing you see is the Toontown Railway, track number 13, train number 13 on uh, track seven comes from scheduled to camp woodchuck it's due at 420 and on time for once and then we got track train number 43 question mark on track two going to duckburg is at 412 late again then we have train 99 and a half track one or 14 spoonerville 657 ish it's really late we got train number 324 who knows what track it's on and it's going to go to hot dog hills and it's due, pfft, your guess is as good as ours. And 1785, no clue, Mouston, ha ha, and I love this. Forget about it. All right, so let's start here and go all the way around the store. You'll notice that they have a bunch of track up there. That track is called, actually it's called LGB. It's a real train track that you can have. But they have these boxes underneath them and they say like cow, that one says cow catchers. Cows caught, cows uncaught. <laughs> I love it. I, it's just, it just delights me. They got nice going along here, kind of looking more singular. You have tracks box. This is the bits and pieces box right over there. Now this is the real merchandise that they actually sell in the store. And now we're back to funny stuff again. You got the track box and it says right there, it says end of line here. There's no here. I mean really here. I kind of backed away so you guys can see a little better. End of line here, no here. I mean really here. And then you'll see it says stop, tunes at work, and it looks like Goofy is not working. He's enjoying a hot, as my friend Adam would say, a piping hot beverage maybe? I don't know. And then you got this. There's a Jeep pulling a trailer and it's stuck on the, uh, what kind of sign is that? What does that mean? 
Does that mean like, does that mean, the tr is that a sign for the train saying, hey, up ahead, we have uh, something stuck here? What is this? I mean, what kind of driving sign is that? But I do love the little arrow down there. All right, let's continue on. Two trains, and there's all those arrows pointing. Railroad, that is a real railroad sign. Eight tracks, and then it says train talk in some railroad terms. And you'll see right there, it says bouncer, buggy, cafe, uh, I mean, cage, chariot, clown wagon, crib, crummy, doghouse, hack, purse, hut, kitchen, Louise cage, Louis cage, monkey house, palace parlor, shanty, temple of knowledge, and those all mean caboose, caboose. Everything means caboose. So I guess I could go up to man to my man. I really like your temple of knowledge. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Stop, look, listen before crossing tracks. And this says you're on track. Now we're back here. We've got some locomotives box, freight cars. And if you look, they have, it looks like they're piling out. You're like they're ready to be sold. And they have a bunch of different cars right over there. And then the boxes, you always gotta read the boxes. Lights, chassis, wheels, axles, I don't know. And then couplers. And then of course, this is real merchandise. All right, so continuing on right over here, it says Canyonville, and you'll notice it says, attention, chipmunks. No riding on model trains. And you'll notice there's a little train there with a tree, some acorns. So you know the chipmunks are gonna be attracted to that and want to have those acorns. Because chipmunks love acorns. All right, continue all over here. You're gonna see this suitcase right over here that says MM for Mickey Mouse, and there's a little suitcase for Pluto. And then you'll see a hat, a cane, and some dog bones. This is an homage to the short, there's a short, a Disney short, where Mickey Mouse, the, he rode a train, and he was trying to hide Pluto in the train, in a freight car, and he, he was wearing that hat and had a cane. So that's a throwback to when Mickey, Minnie Mouse first rode a train, trying to hide Pluto. Then we're just gonna continue on this way. Before we continue on, of course, I didn't even see it next to it. Mickey Mouse and Mr. Mouse takes a trip, and there he is. That's that's the short. And there's Mickey Mouse in his hat and his cane. You see, he's trying to hide Pluto. And there's Pete in the conductor hat right there. Now, apparently, this store has a ton of hidden Mickey's, like a ton of them. And I don't, I can't find them all. But I'll show you a couple. If you look right up there, you can see one of the hidden Mickey's right there. It's a little tree shaped like a Mickey. On top of Doodle Bug. All right, so that's just real merchandise. But then over here, it gets the crazy stuff again. See, it says odds, and then the box below it ends, odds and ends. And don't pass this up. These are like pretending like they're selling these things. But there's a bunch of books up there, and I was trying to read the titles. They seem like real books. Wait, let's see here. Automatic train control, number eight, diesel brake equipment. <laughs> Two cycle these little locomotives. I don't know, it's pretty awesome. That's switches and rivets. But I did notice this. You notice right here, you got this. What is that? That's Mickey Mouse's colors right there. You see them right there? The red, the white, the black, and the yellow. That's Mickey Mouse's colors. Now continue across the top. You can see these are train whistles, whistles. But do you see that huge one that says hold for Willie, this giant train whistle? Well, that is because there's a giant and his name is Willie, and it's when Mickey goes up the beanstalk and he finds Willie, the giant up there, and that's his name, the giant is Willie, so they're holding that giant train whistle for Willie. <laughs> of course, they say no whistle tooting in store. You break it, you buy it. Caution, light coming towards you might be a speeding train, and now we're saying do not pass, and no train horn. And then, of course, they've got like these bandanas up there and the little train hats. They're not really for sale, but it looks cool. It says buy one, get one. And then over here, you can see another hidden Mickey. It's like on the bush. And then it go broken things and then fix things. Now, this next part is the, um, I love this part. This is the, where you, where you buy your stuff, the, the concession stand. There's lots of hidden stuff up here, like crazy bananas. I'll show it all to you. Oh, there's a, so this is all, this is, everything up here is like an homage to Walt. Now, have you seen the Secrets Revealed video I did where I talk about the trail railroad train, that uh, Disney railroad train? We talk about Carrollwood, how Walt had his own little tiny miniature train in like his backyard in Carrollwood. 
And when did he first ride? The very first day he rode on that train in his backyard was May 7th, 1950. May 7th, 1950. Remember those days. May is the fifth month. See that register? May 7th, and then you go down to the last register, it says 1950. That was the very first day that Walt rode the train in his yard. This one here says 1205, costs $12.05. That stands for December 5th, which is Walt Disney's birthday. This one here says $124.93. What does that represent? That's the day that Toontown opened officially on January 24th, 1993. Behind the calendar, you're gonna see these are the scale charts for track. Now that's actually a real, that's a real track scale size. It's a G track, that's an O track, that's an H O track, I mean S track, H O track. But then they started making jokes. This is the O oh no track. <laughs> and this is the ho 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 track. You got like the Santa's little reindeer. <laughs> I love it, I love that they do that. All right, so also something cool to look at is right in the center there. See his little no, it says thanks for fixing our train, your pal Goofy and Max. They see a little drawing that Max is playing with his train. I love that. And it says troubleshooting large scale live stream trains, climb aboard locomotive, put on engineer's hat, toot whistle, optional, engage boiler, extinguish fire. I love it. And then right over here we have troubleshooting miniature trains. Confirm train is on track. Look for loose wires, check for corrosion, engage electricity, extinguish fire. <laughs> they always have extinguishing fires. And right here, you're gonna see it says 7,171 and 955 days since our last dissatisfied customer. Now, that really is, what that is, that's July 17th, 1955, that's when Disneyland opened. But if you divide that by 365, because that's how many days in the year, it gives you 19.6 years since they have had a dissatisfied customer. Well, that's July 17th, 1955. And then I noticed this, and now I'm on a hunt. Do you see that one right there? That's Minnie Mouse. And then right next to it, that is that is Goofy. There's Goofy right there. So now we have to find the other characters. And if you look right up here, well, I think that's gonna be Daisy. That's white, pink, purple, and yellow. That's gonna be Daisy. This has gotta be Donald. Right there, blue, yellow, and white. And that's got to be Pluto, green and yellow, Pluto's colors, because he's yellow and then green is green uh, dog tag. You see it right there, too. That's got to be Pluto. This next one kind of confused me, and I thought I solved it, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I went and asked the cast member, and they confirmed that I was right. So right up there, you see the brown, black, and kind of tan. Who do you think that is? Brown, black, and tan? That is Chippendale, Chippendale's colors. Now, if you're still looking up, you're gonna see this little train. It, it's kind of, it's going along. I guess Doodlebug is the engineer maybe, but you'll see like a silhouette. Excuse me, right there, look. That kind of looks like Donald Duck to me. Y'all see in the back. train goes all the way around the entire store. It's elevated up there. It goes all the way around. It follows that track right there. Let's zoom in and see if that looks like Donald Duck. Yeah, that has to be Donald Duck. That's Donald for sure. Donald's silhouette. But you don't want to just look up the street, you want to look down, there's a little train track and kids can walk along and pretend they're a train on the ground. That's awesome. Choo choo. And it goes all around the whole store so that way you can follow along and pretend that you're a train throughout the whole store. And you'll notice the little connector pieces that put together is a little Mickey head. They have a lot of cool merchandise and I'm gonna get some. I'll have to show you what I'm gonna get. These really cool yellow Mickey sweatshirts. Well, look what they have, and hats. Well, look what they have, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at those bad boys. I'm getting them. Dun, 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 
I don't know. Okay, before I buy these socks. One of my, I love, I don't know why, it's very satisfying to me. When I come to the store, I see this, I love to like, mm, just squeeze that, hold the, hold the football, it just feels good. I'm gonna show you something, and I think you can hear the sound of it. If you're Gen X, guaranteed you will hear this sound. If you're a millennial, you might hear a sound. If you're Gen Z, you probably won't have any idea what it is. But once I show you this, I think you'll hear a sound. <laughs> can you hear that ball? <laughs> I can. I, I know exactly what that ball sounds like. About 100%. I know what that ball sounds like. I mean, I, I can't make the sound, but I know what that sounds like. How many times during recess you get pelted upside the head? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear you, ball. We're following the socks on the train track. Darrell, get back on track, back on track. Darrell, back on track, waiting for crossing. People crossing, going. Uh oh, switch track, where do you go? Follow the trail. Follow the trail. Because, 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 because. Wait, whoa, wrong, wrong. Follow the trail. Derailed. Going this way. Oh, it goes straight. We want to go here. Off track. Off roading socks. <laughs> Yay! I love the Disney cast members so much. I bought my socks. And they gave me a little little uh, bird sticker to wear, so I gotta I gotta put that on, guys. Let's see, how do I? Hold on. Oh! I got the socks. This store is absolutely amazing. But you know what? I gotta find a spot to talk about how amazing this store is. Hang on. So, wait a minute. Did you hit that like button yet? Oh, you did? Okay, well, let's continue on. All right. So, I just want to take a quick little brief moment here real quickly. Found a nice little quiet spot where I can sit down. Is that, um, you know how unique that store was? That store was so cool. I love that store. It was like awesome. It was cool. It was, and you know, it really is, it's an homage to Walt Disney, right? Because he loves trains and then maybe Mickey Railway and Andy out there and sell the train things. I just think it's so awesome, all the cool details they have at the store. It's very, very unique. But do you know what also is unique? You. And I am talking to you. I want you to know that you are unique and you are special and you make the world better. You make the world brighter and happier just by being here because you're so cool, you're so awesome, and you're so unique. And I think you're awesome. And I know, I hope you get to hear that enough. And if you don't, just come back to Pearl's Park Pass and watch these videos and know they think that you are awesome. You make the world better by being a part of it. Don't ever forget that. All right. Well, I think that's the end of this video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button if you could. Wouldn't mind doing that. And let's uh, have some more fun videos. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's so good to see you. Oh, my gosh. I can't even handle it. Did you see that? I was just like walking and all of a sudden, hi, how are you? I was just walking and then uh, Dell just comes beep bop and he's like making a beeline right at me. And I was like, oh, I was trying to get out his way because I thought he was going to see somebody. And then he, Dell, I love you. I just showed you one of the coolest stores in all of Disneyland. Ba -ba 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 is located where? It's located in Toontown and it's called the Souvenirs. You see what they did? They put on the ears at the end of that word and make it kind of cool. Souvenirs.